everyone, today I'll be doing a tutorial on how to use trading view papers trading. Okay, so uh if anyone wants to like start trading or want to try somewhere, there's this uh paper trading option on uh trading view and you don't even need to pay for it, so you don't need to uh buy a subscribe account to use it. Okay, so without further ado, let's go on to it. Okay, so I will not be teaching any like because I'm not an expert, I will not be teaching any trading strategies or whatever. This is just a tutorial on how to use the PayPal trading account on TradingView. Okay, so basically just key in tradingview.com. Okay, let me do a sample for you. Tradingview.com. Tradingview.com. Okay. And then you go to the ID discount page, right? And then so basically you select the uh, stock that you want to see, for example, crypto. Okay, then you press on this uh, tiny button. Oh, do you manage to see? Okay, never mind. Click on the button, see more on advanced chart, then you get like this kind of chart. Okay, so for this kind of chart, um, then basically how you assess the paper trading, the, the normal charts, you just click on the bottom for paper trading. Once you click on it, you can see all your positions and your orders. Lah. So basically, how, how do you start paper trading? Uh, basically, you can uh, right click anywhere on the chart and, and then uh, press trade. So when you press trade, right, there's a sell or buy. These are like standard orders. Lah. But if you want, you can create your own customized order. Okay, Just press create new order. So create new order and then it will show you the price that you want to buy it. So you just key in the price you want to buy it. So basically, there are three types. Lah. Market market means you buy at the current market price. So now currently the market is closed. Uh, it's actually there's pre market, but uh, paper trading don't allow you to trade the pre market. Okay, so basically we can't buy and sell now anyway. So, uh, but you can put in a limit price. You can't buy a market. You can put in a limit price. Okay, you put in a limit price. Put the amount of units you want to buy. Then if there's any stop loss, you can attach it to the order as well. So there will be like. Uh, three orders created together with this whole thing if you actually take this take profit and stop loss. So actually, after you click on this uh, stop loss, right, you can actually control your risk. So let's say you you, you only, uh, like you stop, you choose a price that you want to buy at, then you choose your stop loss. Then they will tell you like uh, how much you are actually risking for this trade. So it will show like uh, how much you are risking for this trade. And then uh, let's say you don't like the amount that they show you, you want to risk uh, $300 for stop loss. Then the units will change accordingly. La. So this is uh, how you can plan for your trading. So limit order is like currently the price is maybe uh, $61, but you want to buy at a lower price. So like $58, then you key in $58 here. Okay. So basically that's uh, it for paper trading. So uh, for paper trading, right, when you do the stop loss or the take profit, right? is uh, stop your whole current position. So let's say your current position is uh, 10. Then they will only, they can, this option is only to uh, close this whole current position by taking profit or stopping loss. So let's say you, you buy, uh, you already bought this uh, 10 units or let's say you want to do uh, various take profit uh, levels. So how can you use it on this paper trading thing? So basically, uh, let's say, Currently, you can see my paper trading, uh, the positions. Uh, currently, I'm long uh, Nova Vex. So long Nova Vex, right? Uh, the price that I buy at is 58.24. Then the current quantity that I have is 37.87. So let's say I want to sell off 50% at uh, this level. So what I can do is I right click and I do a... Uh, because currently I'm long, right? So I if I want to take profit, I need to sell, right? So I just right click and create a order for a sell limit of uh, whatever units on the sell. So let's say I want to sell half, I can sell, uh, let's say I want to sell 20. Yeah, so then I can sell 20. La. So basically, you need to create three different, uh, let's say you want to take profit three levels, you need to create three different orders uh, to cover your current position. So it gets uh, quite complicated, but this is the way to take partial profits if you want to do partial profits. Another way is basically you click this uh, close and they will close all your position. So basically whatever the current market price, they will close the position. But like, now the market is closed so you can't close the position. Okay? Or else you can click on this close position then you tick on this partial close then you see how many units you want to close at the current market price. But currently there's no market so no current market price. 
Okay, so basically that's it. Yeah, so basically that's the end of the tutorial. It's really very easy to do paper trading on uh, TradingView. And this uh, feature is completely free. You don't need to uh, subscribe for a pro account or whatever. So basically, uh, I sign up for a new account and I subscribe for the pro account to set some alerts. Lah. Yeah, so for like alerts or like uh, having all these charts or whatever, right? Uh, with all the indicators, it will take a pro account. But if you don't need this pro account, you can just practice paper trading without all the indicators as well. So uh, I think they give free indicators, uh, three. I, I by the way, this video is not sponsored by trading. We I just wanted to uh, let my viewers know how to do paper trading, how to start paper trading before you actually go live. Uh. Nobody goes live without any paper trading. That only will lead to losses because it's basically just gambling. Okay. Yeah. So that's the end of my video. Hope you learned something new today. Yeah. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Please help to like and subscribe.